Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2, Desire the Golden Joe Oblivion, and we're back with Lord slash Prince Rhaegar the Generous of Dragonstone. And last episode, the <laughs> Seven Kingdoms broke up into war again, probably the second or third war fought since this series has begun. So there hasn't been one big rebellion, instead it's been a series of smaller rebellions. And currently, right now, it is the High Septon who is trying to fight for independence, as well as the Vale, King Jong the Careless. And the Iron Throne has the support of Lord Paramount Tywin of the Westerlands, Lord Paramount Stefan of the Stormlands, and the Reach, the Trident, and Dorne. So, for some reason, the Lord Paramounts are still fighting for King Ares, even though he is a, a pretty bad tyrant. He's been going around laying with everyone's wives on their on their um, their their first wedding night, and he is cruel and wrathful. He did not die from his infection, and he is age 47. Um, unfortunately, Rhaegar is getting up there in age as well. We have plenty of children though, and we've begun introducing Lord Daemon. Lord Daemon to the um, well, to the to the realm so far. Um, also at the very end of last episode, we were also trying to figure out who we were going to pretty much marry Daemon to because. Right now, there seems to be two really good options. And that is, there's Nymeria Martell, who has fantastic genetic traits. Fantastic genetic traits. Um, but she doesn't inherit any titles. Um, I'm actually seeing... Oh, Rhea, what do you stand to inherit? Cobblestone? What the fuck is that? What is this? This person holds claims to these titles. Not to be... Uh, Bounty Hall. So, I mean, there are other people that can inherit, but they're really small titles. Gold Hollow. Yeah, like, these are titles I've never even heard of. The Manderford, I am familiar with that. Gold Tower, yes. Harwick. Yeah, I mean, let's see here. There was, um, there was a Baratheon by the name of Cassandra who had a claim on the Stormlands, which would be fantastic uh, if Rhaegar were to... Ooh, Tumbleton. Eh, but Tumbleton's not as great as the Stormlands is. I'll, here, let's go back and I'll show you. Um, she's not... Related directly to Lord Paramount Stefan, but she's here in the... Ah, there she is. She is the cousin. She is the cousin of the current Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. And she has a weak claim on the Kingdom of the Stormlands, which I don't even know if we can make use of, in theory, when we're the King of the Iron Throne. Normally, when we've got claims on stuff, we can just take them, but this is her claim. So I don't know if we can actually just say, Hey, um... Hey, uh, Stannis... When we're the king, hand over your fucking titles because it actually belongs to my wife. I th think we might have to go to war with them, and the game might not even allow it. Because for a liege to declare war on their vassals is kind of... Unless they rebel. Now, okay, so that's the thing, though, is maybe we can convince them to rebel. Or if they do rebel, we can take that title from them because we have a claim on it. It belongs to our wife. Or maybe we can't because it's her, it's her, it's her claim. It's not ours. So it's it's kind of it's a kind of a difficult thing. Um, whereas down here we could marry the uh, Nymeria Sand. Now she doesn't have any claims, but she's got great traits, quick and attractive. But knowing our luck with knowing our luck in Crusader Kings 2, there's a strong chance we might not get either of those traits when we're theoretically playing as Daemon Targaryen. So yeah, I mean, ooh, ruthless. Why are you ruthless? He got humble, he got gregarious, he got ruthless. Okay, we need to become the guardian now for you, for this guy. Because he's, because when your children hit a certain age, right before they come of age. So 14, 13, 14, 15. All of these little things, these little traits that they get, um, that they've collected throughout their childhood. And especially since we're using the rich childhood mod, which gives the options, well, it gives a greater chance of getting all of these different traits. Um, they all start firing, and they all start activating, and so we have to, we should have, I should have been paying attention, but now we're going to become his, um, his guardian. So at least now we get to choose what he's going to get. He is ruthless, which is going to hurt his general opinion. It's not great. Humble is great for piety. Gregarious, all right, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good trait. It might offset ruthless. It might offset it. Um, Daemon will be a fantastic steward and probably really good with intrigue, which isn't exactly how I had planned him to be, but that is a pretty good outcome in the end. Um, how about we, yeah, well, how about we marry you to Cassandra, how about we marry you to Cassandra Baratheon, and we'll see what we can do with her titles. No, would prefer a matrilineal marriage, base reluctance. Why? Why? You would dare. 
All right, so maybe we can't marry uh, marry her. Well, we could marry Nymeria Sand, though. I mean, I say that. I say that. Will you marry Daemon? No. Skills of Nymeria Sand. Doran, you fool! You fool. Anyways. Anyways. Well, we'll move on past that. Is our crossing's over? No, we're currently carousing. Oh, there it is. Okay, great. Recent carousing. Um, who is our second? Um, uh, I mean, these other sons I don't really care about. I'm not even really sure if they're ours. Aleris, I'm pretty sure, is ours, though. So I'm going to go ahead and be her be her guardian as well. Pretty much, if they've got white hair, we know they're ours. Unless, of course, our wife is cheating on us with another Targaryen, which, I mean, how many Targaryens are there? How many? Six. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So the only one she could be cheating with is the king, and it's like, well... I mean, it's not great being cuckolded by your by your father, but um, it's not the worst, I guess. Sir Owen wrote me in a letter expressing, okay, he wants to be our friend. That's that's nice. Nice for him. Blood of Valeria, exceptional military ruler. Hey, my heart missed a beat when I saw Daemon emerge from the dungeons covered in grime with a bloody knife in his hand. It's time to teach Daemon the right way. And we got a choice to get three awesome traits. And he is kind. So he has lost the ruthless trait now. So now it looks like he's going to be better with diplomacy and stewardship. Which, you know, diplomacy is a great thing to have when you're a king. Because the higher diplomacy, the more your vassals like you, the more troops they will give to you or offer you to raise. Okay, asshole, leave me alone. Sir Owen, I don't like you. Spamming me with these little messages are really is really annoying. Uh, my father, King Aries, has tried to have Lord Giles Langward and Langward Hall arrested. Okay. And now you're at war. Uh, oh, no, there's a slave raid. Veilman Independence. Well, I mean, they have to march into the Vale and take the Eerie and stuff, but, eh. I mean, whatever. I don't care. I really want the king to be dead. <laughs> I really want King Ares to just, uh, just keel over any, any day now. And then this son of a bitch is still plotting against us. You would dare. As he desires the High Lordship of Massey's Hook. We could give it to him, actually, because... Because the king gave us the High Lordship of Massey's Hook. So, it might be better just to give it to him. It won't make him independent, though, will it? No. Or maybe it did. I think it did. Well, shit. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so now we've lost him as a vassal. Would you like to do a... Jo or maybe maybe he'll rejoin us? I don't know. Well, now he loves us. Improved relations, granted a high lordship, abomination of incest. Yeah, I also wanted you, you as our vassal. Oh, well, that's fine. Is it fine? Daemon to... Oh, bro. Come on. What are these with these wacky haircuts? Ugh. Grandchild of incest. Exceptional education. Send him to the wall. Are we still introducing him to the realm? I haven't gotten any more uh, events for that. Anyways. Anyways, is there anything else I can do here? Ask courtier, court, courtiers to leave. We're not going to do that. Go on a tour. Use our study. I'm not sure if there's anything else we can do. Nope. We've written all the books that we can. Studying technology could be wise. Let's just study the art of war. Haven't, aren't, haven't we already done that? Studying intensively. Ooh. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's 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 study economy. Fine. And the bonuses we get from it are going to be temporary at best. And let's not spend any money on Tywin. I like Tywin, but I'm not going to spend any money. We're broke as it is. Tyrion the Imp. You're currently in Runestone, serving under Lord Yawn of House Royce. Um, you will not join our court. Perhaps you will consider a marriage. Perhaps a betrothal. I mean, we could betroth him to Aleri's Targaryen, but I'm not sure if we, I mean, we can't do interbreeding marriages because we're not of the faith. We're not of the faith of Valyria. So, if you want to secure, if you want to secure an alliance with the Westerlands, perhaps having our daughter betrothed to Lord Tyrion would be the best thing. Best thing possible. There's also Lady Damilla. Setting a patrol between her and um, our family could be good. Aryan Targaryen. So currently we have marriages set up with House Tyrell. Lady Marjorie was betrothed to us, but we had that taken from us. We also have Lord Garland. How do we use this to our advantage? If we can keep the Reach and the Westerlands on our side, we have more than enough power to keep the rest of Westeros in check. Alright, so maybe what we'll do is we'll betroth 
Lord Garlin to Alaris. All right. And then if we go here to House Lannister, we can betroth La Lady Damilla to Aryan Targaryen. It is quite an age difference, though. Quite an age difference. But that's two alliances now. Um, assuming those alliances don't fail. Um, then we have Stannis, who have given birth to Osmera Baratheon. Lady Malia Targaryen. Uh, Baratheon, apologies. She could betroth her to Makar, but... Uh, they're they're kind of kind of way too young. Lysa, Lysa Aaron, Lysa Tully. Apologies, um, Edward Tully. No, we have sons. We have two sons. No, we have three sons. Arian's already betrothed. All right, Arian's betrothed. Alaris is going to be betrothed. All right, Alaris is is betrothed to Lord Garland of the Reach, so securing the Reach. And then, and then Arian Targaryen is betrothed to Lady Damilla who will be the sister of the future Lord Paramount of the Westerlands. Okay. So the West and the Reach are secure. There's no one for us to really marry from River Run. I don't know if we can betroth any... And it seems Lord John has lost the war. Just wish he would stop. I don't think they're... Oh, hey, hold on. Oh, she's in hiding. Okay, I thought she was giving birth. All right, so it seems Lord John has lost the. I mean, I would. I mean, I wouldn't mind being. Can you? Could you name me Lord of uh, Lord of the the uh, the Eerie? Maybe His Holiness has died. Okay. Nope. Kingdom of the Vale. Can I have the Kingdom of the Vale? Please. Please let me have the Kingdom of the Vale. All right. She pregnant? No, she's not. She's given birth to Princess Larissa, our half sister. Interesting. So there's no one in, in the in the Riverlands for us to marry. Um, is there anyone here? I don't think so. Lord Corwin. No, there's nobody here for you to marry. We have we need to marry daughters. We got too many sons. There is Princess Loreza of House Martell. Maybe betrothing her to Daemon would be good. So Daemon would become the future, future king, and his siblings would all be married to different rulers of the Seven Kingdoms. Dorne, the Reach, the Westerlands. Do it. If 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 not for anything but the but the um the alliances. Alright. And then maybe we should see who gets named uh, King of the Vale. Because I believe we've got one more no, we got two. No, we got one more son that can be betrothed to somebody. Alright. What quality of education would you like to pick for Aryan? Only the best. Thank you very much. And which would you succeed most at? Um, sh not really anything. What is your highest... Okay, Marshall. We'll go with Marshall. The High Septon has declared anathema upon your father. Okay, that sucks for him. It is It is quite warranted, though. The wars between the great power have ended. All right, and we have... Excellent. Daemon is betrothed to Princess Loreza. Loreza. I've changed my mind. Doran, you son of a bitch. Fine. Doran, you want to sit this one out? Fine. I don't care. I don't care. So Lady Malia. Yeah, uh, there's uh, there aren't really any Baratheons who can marry Daemon. Cassandra. No, he still wouldn't. That son of a bitch. Alright, Tywin, do you have any daughters who would be willing to marry Daemon? No. How about the Reach? Do you have any daughters that would like to marry uh, the future, future king? Uh, no. Jesus. Daemon's really getting screwed with this. Um, who could he possibly marry? I don't recognize any of these houses. Any of these houses. They're all pretty low. They're all pretty low houses. House Vickery. House Brune. Darkholm, Yor, Vickery, Westford. Shit. No, I don't recognize any of these. Poor Daemon. I mean, maybe we could marry abroad. I don't know. Like, um, in another kingdom, maybe? Pentos? Danella Dan. Strong claim on the free city of Pentos. Who are claimants for this? Uh, all They're all dudes. All right. Maybe Bravos? I don't know. Lord Elbert. Where is John? What happened to... Uh, yeah. Oh, John the Careless. He was beheaded on the order of King Ares. Okay. And now there is Lord Elbert II. 
Ah, Artis Aaron. He is married to Liana Stark. Are there any Starks that we can marry? There's Lady Mage. Lady Mage, she could marry a Stark. I'm not sure what good that would really do. I mean, eh, maybe, maybe, yes. Would prefer a matrilineal marriage, prestige effects, opinion of Lord Rhaegar. Well, yeah, of course, like, he, of course he's going to jump at the idea of marrying the future, future king. Jesus. <laughs> All the rest of these other houses are just, you had your up, you had your chance, Lord Paramount Stefan, but you insulted the throne. Well, you know what? He might actually back out of this one, too, because he might say, ooh, because I, I wanted to marry match. Changed my mind. Just kidding. I wanted to marry, uh, marry match linearly. All right, my young son has finished his education in bookkeeping and administration. He is a brilliant steward, and he's honorable. If he can get rid of the wrathful trait, he will be a fantastic future ruler. My friend Monfort has really been letting himself go as of late. I need to warn, warn him as politely as I can. Yeah, let's try to... There you go, buddy. I know your wife died of gonorrhea, but uh, see if we can't set you up with somebody else. There's Elenai. Would you like to marry her? There you go. I have decided to accept your suggestion of a betrothal. He may back out on though. He he might he might back out on that one though. He might uh, when there when it's actually time to marry. He might go. Oh no no! I've changed my mind. Sometimes the computer the, the computer's an asshole like that. All right. What is this? Fall in love. Improve combat training. Have five children. What do we want to do? Become hand of the king. Eh. Become exalted among men. This would actually be we're not that far away from getting two thousand. And if we get it. We get 100 prestige, which is, uh, but we get all vassals improve their opinion of Prince Rhaegar by 5 indefinitely. Could be good for ensuring future loyalty. And we introduced you to the realm. What the hell is that? Son of a bitch. Alright, grandchild of incest. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw a huge party. Huge party. Invite everybody. Invite all the... There is no uh, King of the Vale yet. Alright, no King of the Vale. Um, our future father-in-law... We're going to go ahead and we're going to invite you. Um, and you know what? Invite your wife as well. It, would, it wouldn't be right if we didn't invite wives as well. Let's invite Lord Tywin. And uh, Lady Elia. Let's invite Mace. Improve relations. Don't need that. And we'll invite his wife as well. Go down to Dorne. Even though I really shouldn't be inviting you, Doran, you son of a bitch. And I really shouldn't be inviting you, Lord Paramount Stefan, but um, consider yourselves worthy. Alright, is there anybody else I want to invite? There's no LP here. There's uh, We've invited the LP here, LP here. Um, we're not going to invite the squids because they're squids. Um, did we invite Lord Paramount Eddard's wife? Oh, okay, maybe we did. Maybe we did? Maybe we did. I've changed my mind about the pro- God damn you! Damn you, sir! Daemon will be single forever. He couldn't marry his half-sister, though. No. Damn you. Damn you. Um, alright, so what we... will probably... What can we do now? Shit. I mean, perhaps we should try to marry somebody who would have good genetic traits then? Maybe. Ah, even that might be impossible. Alright. We're gonna open it up. Women not in prison, not married, yes, within diplomatic range, and attractive. That seems like a good trait to look for as I flip this around. Is there anyone who's of age at this very moment in time? There are, but you're Gascari. Um, we have a Bravosi who is a courtesan. Cannot use her. Um, there's another courtesan, courtesan. The maid of the sea, okay. Um, you're also a courtesan. Niesa. Ew, she's an ugly one. Galenos. They're all courtesans. Look at this. Jesus Christ. There's Aaliyah. Oh, Jesus, her face. Okay. Onalona. Onalona. Onalona, would you be willing to marry Daemon? No. We'll not consider marriages from infidels. You bitch. All right. Is there anyone within the realm we can actually fucking marry? It's getting frustrating. Daemon's having the same issue that Rhaegar had. Well, in the lore, Rhaegar was supposed to marry his siblings, but King Aerys and Rayla didn't have any siblings for him to marry, so he had to marry outside of the family. Let's see, we can have you marry a wildling. 
We can have you marry somebody with um 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 grayscale. We can have you marry Vorilia. Eh. But Nilla, she's got the uh, attractive trait. Yeah, maybe we need to change. Damn it. That's that's unfortunate. Um, is there are there any geniuses? Perhaps we can marry a genius. Uh 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 uh. Elola. She's not bad looking. She's a genius, but she is lustful, so she may be cheating, and her intrigue is very fucking high. I think that's almost asking. It's almost asking for trouble. The bloodline would cut. Yeah, the bloodline would fall into question. Um, how about quick? Well, that's certainly not how you spell it. Let's see here. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Any any females of age that are quick? Yeah, there's an Alona, but she probably won't entertain any ideas for marriage. Is there strong? Yeah, well, there's lots of there's lots of them that are strong. Um, but there aren't any of our culture group. Um do, 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 do. yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, you know what? Maybe maybe we just have to um let him be. Hmm. Maybe just let Daemon be. Now, we do run the risk of him eloping. He might elope, but he doesn't seem to want to get married. So, you know what? Let's let's leave him be. Yeah, Rothful would be a great trait great trait to get rid of. Um, do we have a better story? I mean, maybe we should have Daemon be our Castellan. Let him be our Castellan. And we're also going to let him be our designated regent because he is the heir apparent. Give out the rest of these titles. All right. Aryan will make a fine warrior. Woo! Fortunately, I cannot join your merrymaking. It's because you're a son of a bitch, that's why. You're a son of a bitch. These bastards. All right. Prince Makar. All right, you're content, which actually works out in our favor a little bit. Well, it works out in Daemon's favor, because now his son, now his son, his brother, I mean, our son... Daemon will become king, and his brothers will not try to take the throne. At least, um, at least Aryan won't. Well, no, not Aryan, Makar. Because Makar is content. He's not going to try to, you know, maneuver or anything like that. Oh, and now we're getting the Targaryen coin flipped. Ah, oh, shit. Madness and Greatness are two sides of the same coin, and she gets diligent. Good for her. Fate smiles upon me. My wife is pregnant again at age 31. Okay, that's great. Plenty of children. Not many marriage opportunities, though. That really sucks. Makar also doesn't have any options for marriage. So let's quickly set him up with somebody before I end this episode. Um, yeah, Jesus, Vickery. Ah, damn you. Is there anyone who's chaste? Is there anyone who's chaste? Ooh, you're quick. Malera. Mal you know what? Screw it. I don't care. Let's set up that marriage. Okay, and I'm going to end this episode here because I have some work to do on the custom Joblivian house. Uh, work is still ongoing for that. We're making great progress. But that's where this episode has to end. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, comment, sh and and subscribe, and share the video. That always helps me out. I have been the Golden Joblivian. This has been Lord Rhaegar, the Generous of Dragonstone and future king of the, uh, the Iron Throne. And until next time, I will see you all later.